all the way from like what they say is Rosemont now today, all the way to Savage and William Byrne had 10 kids. Okay. His first three boys, I couldn't even find any information on the others because the girls obviously didn't carry on the name and there were a few more boys. Maybe they didn't have kids, whatever. The first three, William had 10 kids. First three boys, 10 kids, 15 kids, and 10 kids. Okay. Now his middle, no, I think the oldest was James. Look at this. James, he died June 15th, 1892 of consumption. 33 years old. 33. You know why? 10 kids. Consumption. 33 years old. Uh, at the cemetery, a lot of other notables. Look at this. Cannon. Heard of Cannon Falls? I have. This guy's name uh, was Joseph Cannon from Ireland. It got to the point where I'm looking. Here's Egan. Looking at some of these uh, tombstones going like, I didn't even know that name was Irish, just assuming they're Irish. Look, there's John Kennedy's in there. Danny Noonan from Caddyshack. Knutson's. At any rate, I'm out there. I'm getting some photos with the drone. One thing leads to another. I'm looking at this now. This is from 375 feet. This is right above William Burns' uh, grave. Now, look. See the water, the little river there going through right above that. That is where the landfill expansion uh, is going to be taking place. What landfill expansion? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Only six times the largest pyramid in Egypt, the Giza. That's a natural wonder of the world. Like 150 feet higher than the Statue of Liberty. Okay. Oh, yeah. By the way. Uh, taller than Buck Hill. More elevated than Buck Hill going in right there. See, you can see Minneapolis on the other side. Forget about it. But you say, well, what's the big deal? You know, there's landfills. It's a part of life. Yeah, but are we going to put it on the banks of the river? What are the other states? I don't know. Mississippi is not really that big of a deal, is it? I mean, we're at the bottom. No, we're not. But you say, well, they must be taking all kinds of precautions. So that was 375 feet up at the beginning of this video. That's how tall it's going to be. This is where it's at now, 135. Tell me if you can see a difference here. This is where it's at now. And the only retort that I can find from the mayor is people need to get used to the fact there's a landfill. Okay, yeah, well... One that's six times a pyramid of Giza, taller than Buck Hill. And all I can find now about the arguing is whether they're going to put a golf course on the top of it, 18 holes in 40 years or not. I guess that's taken off the table now. How about a freaking ski hill? You can't because of the methane gas. Which brings us back to why... Burnsville boys hockey doesn't have a team. It's one of two things. Methane gas is terrible for ice. So is the seagull droppings. Okay? Shouldn't be the firehawks anymore. We'll just be the seagulls. So anyway, Burns, B-Y-R-N-E. How did it become Burns? Burnsville. Well, they, listen, they populated so much like that. This is my point. 10 kids and then they have 10 like there were like 130 households in two generations from William Byrne okay literally they it was common practice to add an s to some of these smaller communities with these names to expedite the mail so the mail delivery just burns all the burns went to burns one location burns bill thomas burns many years later well, after James, you know, he might have been a son of James, the one that died of consumption at 33 after having 10 kids. Anyway, Thomas Burns, down the road is on the city council or township, whatever it is they did before they were a city, and said, Burns, no, it's B-U-R-N-S. It's always been spelled that way. Just, I don't know if he was a different Burns or if they were illiterate. I do know they were Irish. 
as am I. And, uh, you know, it says that there weren't many records kept at the beginning. That's how I know they were Irish. At any rate, so B-U-R-N-S, he's like, no, I get it. And they may have been illiterate. Names changed when people uh, immigrated like that all the time through Ellis Island. You were at the mercy of how they spelled your name, and that was given to you. So maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. Maybe they couldn't read to begin with. Maybe they just didn't care, but it became B-U-R-N-S-ville. The S is explainable. Spelling of Burns is not. However, I do know that the mayor of Marshall, Minnesota, is Robert Burns, B-Y-R-N-E-S, to tie it all up. 